Simply put, this is the best sniper in multiplayer, and it's not even close. If you're accurate, it might even be the best weapon in the game overall. With the build I've put together, you will be absolutely destroying lobbies. I've had more accusations using the longbow than any other gun, and I think that's a good gauge of how broken it is. This is definitely a must use before it gets nerfed into the ground. The longbow has arguably been the best sniper in the game since day one, but with the Jack Tyrant 762 kit, it transforms the already very good weapon into an absolute monster, hugely improving damage range and another boost to damage in general, with improvements to aim down sight speeds to add on top. The damage falloff is hit, but that isn't really important with this build as you'll see with later attachments. So I'm not sure if this was intentionally this way, but the HM Res mod suppressor makes the gun even stronger, especially at range, which helps with the previously mentioned damage range fall off from the conversion kit. It also helps that your enemies don't know where you're shooting from instantaneously. Not that they have much of a chance as this gun is so fast. Speed isn't even remotely a worry with the longbow as it's so fast even without attachments. I decided to compensate for the damage fall off even more adding the Pro 99 long barrel to make it extra broken. This completely negates any damage range loss from the conversion kit, making sure that even at range nobody is safe from the longbow. With all of the damage related attachments I decided to go for the no stock attachment just to make it even stronger in close range engagements as it offers big gains in the sprint to fire speed, movement speed, aim walking speed and a small boost to aim down sight speed. There is some debate on the effectiveness of the last attachment but I felt like it really made a big difference and that's the SAM quick bolt adding a big boost to rechambering speed. Without this, the ratio between ADS and fire rate felt off and I found myself timing shots badly when fighting multiple enemies. So that's it, that's the completed Jack Longbow build. I hope you found it to be as useful to you as it has been for myself. But if you think I should have gone with a different attachment for the longbow, then let me know in the comments. But if you found this video helpful, leave a like and be sure to subscribe for more content just like this.